Hello, and welcome to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast with your host, me, Hal Coleman, uncensored and unplugged. Pay attention, take lots of notes, because you're going to find out exactly how to get more new customers, more referrals, and grow your business. Hal Coleman has been active in the pest control industry for over 40 years, including owning and operating his own successful pest control business for 18 years. He now devotes his time to helping other PCOs and other WCOs double, triple, and even quadruple their businesses faster than they ever imagined. Be sure to check out his website, pestcontrolmarketer.com. For more information about Hal's coaching program, you can reach him at 770-993-0004 or email him hal at halcoleman.com. Mike Stewart is known as the Internet Audio and Video Guy. Since the birth of the Internet, Mike has been showing small business owners how to get more new customers, increase their sales, and grow their businesses online using audio and video, now with iPhones and Android phones. For more information about Mike's coaching program and his online training courses, visit MikeStewartCoaching.com or email him Mike at InternetAudioGuide.com. Well, hello, this is Hal Coleman, and welcome to another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. I'm here with my good friend and business associate, uh, associate blah, 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 and I'm going to start that over. Okay. Hello, this is Hal Coleman, and welcome to yet another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. I'm here with my good friend, business associate, and mentor, Mike Stewart. You there, Mike? Yes, I am. I am so excited. I love doing this podcast with you, Hal, and I love finding out what you want to talk about because it's always golden nuggets of marketing. Well, it's golden nuggets from you, too, uh, so here we are, Mr. Offline and Mr. Online. Uh, and, and i tell you what I want to talk about today, Mike, uh, is, is our, our targets when we advertise. There was a, when I was in going to Nashville a lot back in the 80s uh, and, and uh, as a songwriter and hanging out with songwriters and going to playing songs for publishers and producers and artists, uh, and you were also involved in that, and Larry Latimer. That's what we were all in the music business back then on the side. Uh, I, I killed bugs by day and I did music at night, but and on the weekends. But uh, uh, a friend of mine who who was managed ATV Publishing up in Nashville, on, there on Sixteenth Avenue. Uh, his name was Byron Hill. I used to play songs for him, and we became friends. and And Byron wrote a song. He was a great songwriter. And I remember one song that he wrote stuck out in my mind. And you remember Johnny Lee, the guy that did uh, Looking for Looking Love. For Lo yeah. Well, Johnny Lee recorded it and had a big hit with it. And the name of the song was Picking Up Strangers. Uh, and it was like, picking up strangers, let me tell you about the dangers. You never know what they're out to get from you. You never know what they're going to try to do. Picking up strangers, let me tell you about the dangers. Uh, uh, you know, so it was about picking up strangers, which, of course, was strange people in bars that he was singing about. Next thing you know, one will steal your heart away. And I started thinking about that the other day, and I thought, you know, that's really what our marketing is all about, picking up strangers. And, and we don't need to market to the people who already know us and love us and trust us, and uh, they're going to do business with us with us or not because they know us but our marketing needs to be targeted to total strangers who have never heard of us they don't have a clue who we are but they need a pest control company or they need a wildlife uh service and so they go to the internet you know they used to all go to the yellow pages and i imagine some still do uh mostly baby boomers but so they said i need an exterminator. So what do I do? I got to go find somebody. So let's say they go to the they go to the internet. Now they go to a handheld device and they just put in, you know, if they live in uh, Roswell, Georgia, then they will be able to put in Roswell, Georgia pest control or termite control, Roswell, Georgia, or or whatever. What are, what are they? What are they searching for to try to to try to connect them with an exterminator? 
And and this this goes all the way back to when you first start your company. What the name of your company? Uh, you know, a lot of us uh, have have a tendency to want to use our name as the name of the company and the name of our website. But see, the people who don't know you and don't know who you are aren't going to be searching for your name on the internet. Does that make sense? You understand what I'm saying? Well, yeah, Hal. I mean, the thing that you're talking about is is the fact that people search in what are called generic SERP terms. Generic SERP terms. And SERP terms and are... And tell us again what a SERP term is. Well, that's the, when people type words into Google or any search engine for that matter. The first page result is called the search engine results page. Search engine results page. And every phrase gets a different page of results. And so, obviously, a generic SERP term would be pest control or exterminator. Those are very generic. And cell phones and tablets and computers know where they are geographically. Uh, You don't need to know how they know. They just do. And so people will put in generic terms. And the golden uh, goose is when you rank at the top of Google for generic terms. But realistically, that doesn't always happen. So there's only there's only three ways to get uh, people to get find you for generic terms. And and of course what happens is is what what you're talking about, everybody putting in generic terms is a stranger to your <coughs> business. Uh, they might be somebody that's just moved into town. That could be somebody that's living out of town, moving into that town. It could be somebody who's disgusted with who they have. They're so mad at them, they could just, you know, sh- shake them. Could be somebody that, you know, sadly has gone out of business and they got to replace the person who's gone out of business and they don't know you. So what happens is there's two things you can do with SERP terms. You can either uh, buy your way to the top earn your way to the top or borrow your way to the top. And we could do a whole another podcast on buying, borrowing, and earning your way to the top for generic terms. Another model is train the market through a multitude of distribution channels, your SERP terms. And your guaranteed SERP terms is building an awareness that when it comes to pest control, Google your name. And that's a marketing strategy that will help people find you and connect with you. But you have got to build your online content as if everybody finding you is a stranger. If your friends find that information, they agree. But if a stranger finds that information, they got to be converted to what we call a prospect of a suspect to a prospect from a prospect to a paying customer. And so I see so many results that have so many roadblocks uh, to connecting with, with a stranger that the stranger hits the most used button on the Internet. The, and I, let me ask you, Hal, if you've heard me say this before, but I want to remember, and if you don't know it, we're going to establish that right now. What is the most used button on the Internet when people find something and they're not sure they like it? Delete. Well, close to it, the back button. They go yeah. back to they go back to the search engine and they look at some other result. And so the back button is the most popular button on cell phones, tablets, and computers. So what you want to do is you want to do what's called create stickiness with strangers. Stickiness with strangers. Now what does that mean? When they find your information, does it have a response trigger of a bold shock and awe promise? Or is it just a pretty picture stock photo that's not even you? You have to really realize that sometimes getting what's in it for the stranger will make them stick around long enough to find out if you are the person to do business with. And so that's what we teach, is we teach how to get found, but how to get found by strangers. If your friends and customers find you, you're already doing business with them. It's those Potential strangers who need to switch to somebody new, they're new in town, or they've never had it, and now they need to get it. Uh, every year, couples, young couples get married and leave apartments and buy homes. In fact, up here in Nashville, uh, we're one of the hottest real estate markets in, in the country. Still, even for the month of March 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic, um, I was talking to a real estate agent yesterday, Hal. The market is still hot. The house across the street 
uh, from my house has been on the market for the last eight months and it sold last month. Is that not telling you something? People well, they're are, not turning it into a morgue, are they? I hope. Oh, that's. I can't believe you said that. And now here's a word from our sponsor. Google Pest Control Marketing. Grow your business like never before. Call 770-993-0004. Did you hear that? That is a jingle. But more than that, it is an audio logo and what I call a marketing earworm. But you know, that's a bug, that's a worm you want in your local market on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, and podcasts like you're listening to right now. Yes, you should do a podcast as a PCO, but we'll talk about that another time. You want your market singing Google your name, what you do, and your phone number. Simple, but it works. If you want to cash in on this marketing bonanza, go to PestControlMarketingJingles.com to learn more. Or just call me, Mike Stewart, at 770-826-3662. Or call Hal Coleman at 770-993-0004. And we would love to show you how to do what we call search and call advertising with earworms. And oh yeah, it works on that old-timey technology of radio and television. Why don't you call us today and learn more? Google Pest Control Marketing. Grow your business like never before. Call 770-993-0004. I know. You might even want to delete that. That No, no. I want to show people who you are so they know you inside out. (laughs) Hey, hey, listen, and I I will throw this in there. I don't mean to change the subject, but I was thinking about how times have changed. And, and, uh, you know, used to in a small town, people knew who you were anyway. Even if they didn't know you, they knew who you were because they because you were there in a way. And a good example, my my cousin and I one time we were about fifteen years old, I guess. I know we 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 weren't old enough to have a driver's license, or we would have been driving. But we we wanted to we we lived not right in town, but not out in the country either, uh, in Roswell, and and we were going to go hunting one day. Uh, at this place, it was about two miles away. And uh, so uh, my mother was gone somewhere. Usually they'd take us and drop us off or whatever. And uh, But we were going to go hunting. And so we said, well, we'll just walk. So, you know, we filled our pockets all up with shotgun shells. And we both uh, we both had 16-gauge shotguns. I had a, a, a Browning Auto 5, and my cousin had a pump. 16 gauge so we we got all our shells we divided them up and we put them in our all our stuffed our pockets and we, so we take off walking across this field and then we hit the highway and we were, were just walking up the highway with our shotguns and a lady stopped and gave us a ride she said y'all boys how, how far are y'all going here well we're going up to we told her what road she said she said well that's about a mile away y'all hop in i've dropped i'm going right by there so we hopped in the back seat and she dropped us off, and we thanked her. Now, can you imagine here, the year 2020, and a woman is driving down the highway and sees two teenagers with shotguns and stops and offers them a ride? <laughs> can, can you imagine that? I mean, it's just... Uh, well, that's... Time, that, you know what? But they, see, picking up strangers wasn't so dangerous back then. Well, and more importantly, when you know, like, and trust somebody... Uh, you're more you you tend to more uh, be open with them, and that's what what has to happen. You have to raise the know, like, and trust factor to the point where people will have the conversation of going to the next level. And evidently, uh, years ago, I mean, you know, if you think about it, we live in some really strange times. I've seen things happen in my life that, you know, I, I never believed I'd see metal detectors at schools. I just never thought I'd, you know, as a kid in elementary school, we didn't have metal detectors, and, they, and a lot of them have it now. It's just we're in a, a a different world, a dangerous world, and that trust factor is reduced to, you know, a a, a mistrust level. Yeah, it's turned the world's turned upside down. I tried to sneak out of the house last night, and my kids caught me and took my keys away from me for a month. <laughs> you know? Uh, but uh, anyway, the, the the thing that I think the crux of this of this podcast is is design your content, 
your website, your social media, your YouTube videos. If you're not doing a podcast like we are, then you should because uh, it is another form of building authority, no like and trust factor. Um, and then remember, show people how they can get in touch with you. Why do you think we do this podcast? One, we love it. Two, we feel like we have something to say. And three, we want to build relationships with people who don't know us. And the people that do know us, we want to deliver value to them, whether they ever do business with us or not. It's a way of giving back to the world. And, you know, when you have uh, positive good intentions and it's obvious that you are fired with enthusiasm, um, as my buddy of uh, 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 and I got to remember his name. I tell you, Rich, Rich um, uh, was with a publisher. He said, "If you're not fired with enthusiasm, you'll be fired with enthusiasm." Yeah, and, and and so the thing is, is that the whole purpose of your online and really your offline world is to make sure that you build relationships of no like and trust factor first, and then only then have you earned the right to say. And by the way. I can solve your problem, and I am a, I will be very much of value to you for every penny you spend with me. So don't market to your friends. You know, I, I used to see this at networking meetings. Uh, people gathered around with three or four people that they knew every week. And, and in fact, I had an old partner of mine. I'm going to remain nameless. He'd go to networking meetings, and the only people he'd talk to is people he knew. And then yeah. he used to, he'd leave the meeting and say, uh, "Networking don't work. I didn't I didn't make any connections." Well, you didn't talk to anybody you didn't know. You were scared to talk to people you didn't know. You have to do things that you're scared to build those relationships with strangers. So picking up strangers, maybe when it comes to the dating world, it could get dangerous. But when it comes to the business world, you better make as many stranger relationships and convert those strangers into friends if you expect to dominate and and survive the economic roller coaster that the world gets to ride well i think you're right and i think you just wrapped it up for us mike and and folks uh pick up those strangers as many as you can and turn them into customers and referral partners and it will pay off in big dividends for you and help you grow your company so mike with that listen if somebody wanted to uh get in touch with you and find out more about what you do and how you can help them how would they do that well, you know what? I want strangers who don't know me to know my phone number, 770-826-3662, or go to MikeStewartCoaching.com, or go to Mike Stewart Podcast, or basically more than anything, go to, go to any of the websites listed on PestControlMarketingPodcast.com. The links are all there. The phone numbers are all there. And a way of giving back, I will spend an hour of my time to see if we're a good fit. I do that every day. That is the best investment. If we're not a good fit, let's find it out real quick. Because if you don't know, like, and trust what I have to say, uh, then maybe it's best we stay strangers. But I don't want strangers in my life. I want to turn strangers into friends. So call me, 770-826-3662. And everything I just said, Hal, I know you do the exact same thing. I do the same thing. My phone number is 770-993-0004. Or you can email me, Hal, at HalColeman.com. I'll actually send you a questionnaire to fill out uh, prior to our one hour together so that I don't have to spend that hour uh, asking you all these questions. I will already have gone over it and have some really low-hanging fruit opportunities that I can point out to you when you're marketing and advertising, and it it won't cost you a penny. uh, All it'll cost you is... Time spent an hour with me, and I've, I've never had anybody come away from that hour that didn't say, wow, that was a valuable phone call, and thank you. So, uh, And then some of them decide they want to know more, and they want to go deep, so they hire me as their coach. Some of them don't. So there's no obligation. There's no pressure whatsoever. So call me, call Mike. Uh, if you want help, if you want to get your business on a faster growth track and you want to see it double, triple or even quadruple faster than you could have ever imagined it happening uh, then just give us a call and with that mike it's been fun as always and uh folks thanks for listening to this episode of the pest control marketing podcast 
Thanks for listening to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes and on your phones and in Stitcher on your Android. But more importantly, go to our website, pestcontrolmarketingpodcast.com, subscribe to our email list to always be notified of new episodes. You're never going to want to miss what we've got coming up next, and you never know what we're going to be able to do to help you with your pest control marketing.